generation of power if there is anybody by the grace of god who who has a right as it were authentic truths about the latest bishop I, I, I should be one of them wow that's great these are people that we need to follow them i mean these are pastors that we need to follow them we will continue but i want to tell you something that when you listen to this message you are totally blessed keep on listening to this message and your life will never be the same let's continue god bless you I mean, aside people like Bishop Oyedipo and all of those men that knew him from 81, 82. I knew him for 16 years. So I'm an authority. Knew him like this. See me every Sunday I was going to that. So he was my pastor. So I'm not talking of what I read in the book. Nobody operated power like that man. We are not worshipping a man. Bible says in Hebrews 6, 12, follow them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. We are not worshipping a man. God tells us, even in Hebrews 11, he said, they without us should not be made perfect. He said, time will fail me to tell of Barak, of Jephthah. So references are important if you must experience encounter. You cannot think of encounter without reference. Oh, Lord God, There's a man of God in Ghana. They call him Duncan Williams. One time, he wanted to be on television. He came to Benin, met the Archbishop. The Archbishop said, go back. He signed, wrote a letter. He said, Go and meet the president. Tell the president that I, Idahosa, say you should put you on TV. <laughs> when he went back, the man said, The president read the letter. I said, Who is Idahosa? Please leave. So he went back to Benin. He said, The president said that you ask who is Idahosa. He said, Okay. He stood up. He said, In one month, I, Idahosa, I remove him. Yeah. In less than one month, assassins in Ghana shot the president and died. When the new president came, he said to him, said, Go back, tell him, I, Idahosa, says she put you on TV. That president already knew what killed that former one. So he advised himself. <laughs> now, in Benin, there was a TV channel in those days called BBS. They call it Bende Broadcasting Service. The Archbishop will send this tape called Redemption Hour to that channel. One woman will keep it. They pay though, she will keep it. They call it BBS. They pay, he will keep it. He refused. Who want this? Why they keep why they not play my tape? They said there's a woman that doesn't like you. He went to the station, said, Where's the woman? He went to her office. He said, Hey lady, my he said, Hey lady, my name is Benson Idahosa. I suck you. And he left. Less than one week, they suck her. There was there was a beggar a beggar eh, that was born crippled crippled i think i've only seen that like three or four times in my ministry cripple when i mean cripple you know those tiny legs those that walk on rollers he was positioned by a church he goes there to beg every day i'm not going to mention the church pastor by a great man one of the sons of the archbishop the archbishop landed the airport and god told him that he should go to that his son's church he went there and the son was doing something and when the head was around they rushed and did some welcoming and the rest from the airport till he got there you know when they are welcoming you they tie balloon yeah, so. the archbishop laid this on the balloon the balloon went up as he was going up it disappeared everybody was looking at it as he was going up it disappeared and he told the man he said so shall your rising be no man shall see your back <laughs> now while he anointed the man as he was going he got to the door where that man normally beg and he turned to the man and said, follow me to my car. The man stood boom, and started following him. You are talking, I'm going to show you something. I'm talking of power. That man. Eh? That was the man that said, I have never wore black before, before the first time I will wear black. And he wore black. That's why people, somebody was screaming. He said, we are the Christians in the time of Abacha. I've told you that before. No, who has time? For this competition. Comparison. Pastor attacking pastor. Christians attacking Christians. This one called that one sinner. That one called that one unbeliever. And that's I'm proud. Any man who cannot make reference will not be referred. Any 
any man who cannot tell the story any man today as you see me standing there are dimensions i've operated in god that shock people dimensions i have kicked cripple out of chair out of anger those i learned from somewhere i saw things are you following me i have i mean they brought two dead people from two dead children from igara when this ministry began two dead from igara and one of them i said put them on my chair and as soon as person touched the chair the person could i said are you not are you dead are you not afraid to sit on my chair come out on the spot eyes open came back to life i got those dimensions from staying on that man as bishop was bulldozing the land in jiaroe they were the historic miracle center now and some men some elders came who killed you this our land he said god gave it to me i've paid the government and five of them said over our dead body will leave you they say so be it this week you will go five of them the next day one died the third day one died the other day one died five pew in five days five left so he told them say please lay the foundation because we must be fast they say over their dead body we must be fast now they are dead let's do it over their dead body 